Hello, in this video we are going to cover the UI scroll view. It's pretty simple what it does. It's a container to group other items together and you can scroll through them. Nothing more to it than that. We've got to make sure you've created a project, obviously, and make sure your project is set up to use the UI plugin. If it isn't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description, so check there out before you continue with this and start coding. Once you've got all that set up and done, we can basically start creating our scroll view. So let's do UI colon colon scroll view asterisk scroll view equals UI colon colon scroll view colon colon create. All pretty simple stuff so far. Scroll view set direction. So for this, you do UI colon colon scroll view direction, and then you can even put both directions that's vertical and horizontal. No direction, horizontal, or vertical. We're going to choose vertical. Check out horizontal again, pretty simple what it is, and also check out both as an extra task. Now scroll view, set content size, size, I'm going to put 300 by 200. The content size is basically what the user sees. The next size we're going to set is set inner container size and this is the entire scroll view size. but the user will only see the content size. So even when you scroll through it, if, for example, the content size is smaller than the container size, it can't be any bigger than the container size. It should be as big as the container size or smaller than. Usually it's going to be smaller than. Anything outside of the content size range will be invisible. So for this, just put size. I'm just going to put 1280 by 2500. What you put will depend on your game situation. I'm going to show you the set background image method. So you can just set a image. I'm going to put hello world.png, which we already have right here. And next, I'm going to put scroll view. Set bounce enabled. I'm going to put this to true. So this just basically bounces when you scroll all the way to the end, whether that's a start or uh, actually I should say uh, to the start or the end of the items. So instead of it, it just abruptly stopping, it'll bounce and then move back. This generally looks cooler. Scroll view set anchor point. By default, the anchor point is 0, 0, aka bottom left. So what we're going to do is just set it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which is the center. You don't have to, but we just prefer working with 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Next, we're going to set the position for this. It's going to put vec2 visible size dot width. Divide by 2 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and we're we've created our scroll view but at the moment if we were to display this as it is nothing would appear because a scroll view on its own is essentially nothing actually i say nothing would appear the background image would appear but no items inside it to scroll through so we need to create some items we're just going to simply do a for loop which creates 50 buttons so you, we can show you how it works but you would probably add the but each item manually or you would have a bunch of loops again it's dependent on your game scenario so i'm just going to ui button call it button equal to UI colon colon button we have a separate tutorial covering how to use button so we're not going to really discuss this in this video so normal png close selected dot png button set position and for this I'm going to do vec2 I'm going to do scroll view get content size dot width divide by two what this will do is center it in the x-axis 
Next, I'm going to do I multiply by 50, so it just moves it down by 50 pixels every single time a new button is created. And then finally, in this loop, do scroll view, add child, and we're going to add the button as a child to the scroll view. So the scroll view will now have 50 buttons. We're going to do this, add child, not button, scroll view. And now we're ready to run this in our simulator. So what we'll get is a scroll view, we'll have a background image and 50 items. There we go, we have our scroll view. We can scroll through them. Each individual button works as it would do. It has no functionality at the moment simply because we haven't programmed any. But as you will program any other UI widget, you can do that and then add it to the scroll view. So as you can see, you can scroll and look what happens when I get to the end it bounces that's what the set bounce enabled was something i want to show you before we end this video is i'm going to use namespace ui so theoretically i should be able to get actually first i'll remove this one i can get rid of ui colon colon but if i get it on the ui scroll view we get errors and the reason is scroll view is ambiguous so if i were to right click scroll view go to jump definition scroll cocos has a scroll view and then there's a ui scroll view as well which is part of cocos so for that reason you can't use using namespace ui and expect not to put ui colon colon you can use this line right here and every other item that is an ambiguous like button will work as it does but for something like scroll view you need to put ui colon colon scroll view that's just something to bear in mind simply because that can cause a few issues and you'll be scratching your head like why is this not working so if that happens that's what you got to do in the future button might fall to might have the same problem it might become ambiguous and if it does simply just go do the same so I'm just going to put the UI colon colon back in and just comment this out. So that's it for the scroll view. If you have any questions at all, post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.